<laughs> so, um, if I recall correctly, there are a couple of you that have arrows launched through your faces. There's one guy who's missing an eyeball who you have no idea where he or his men went. Um, you were attacked by a giant tick, got really fucked up, one of you. And, and no, 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 wait, and one of those, like, the leader guys, I think, was? Yeah, he has a dagger through his face. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, and then you guys, like little pussies, retreated outside of the moat house and are licking your wounds. Again, like pussies, as in cats. Yeah, if I remember correctly, we took a, uh, we took a nap. And I woke up sometime in the middle of the night. Mm hmm And I'm totally all better, I swear. I don't think you are. I technically think I am. Or at least I will be. I don't know when this regen's supposed to kick in. Well, it's just... It's an eight. But... Aren't you... What had you down again? It was a uh, tick, right? No, no I you was... drank. Yeah, I drank the expired yeah. wine. Yes. So... <laughs> yeah. And then I failed the poison save. Yes, and you passed the fuck out. That's what happened. Okay. Our DM really needs to take better notes. I don't take any notes, and I want to see you DM a campaign. Okay. So... That is the current situation that we are in. I want to say it's around 2 a.m. Uh, Mage Boy, uh, Lahayam, I believe his name is, Lahayam. is in and out of consciousness, but you can't really tell because you're sleeping. And then we have somebody on marching order, I mean, on watches, and that would be Bacon currently. So. Ta-da. You do make it through the rest of the night with nothing fun or eventful happening. Lahayam, you are awake, but you feel like you did not sleep a wink. I definitely did not get restful sleep. It was uh, mostly full of dry heaving and eventual vomiting all over yourself to the point where your hair is now kind of gelled into a mohawk. I'll take it. What are your plans for the day? Well, it's, uh... What time again? Uh, you made it to the rest of the night, so it is now roughly 7.30 in the morning. Alright, alright. So I'm gonna sit up, and I'm gonna be like... <coughs> Where am I? Make a system shock save. I don't know what that is. That's percentage dice based on your constitution. You have a roll that says system shock. Okay. Let me find that. <sighs> Excuse me. Da, da, da. Where the hell? Oh, okay. Constitution is garbage. Yes. So I just roll this D100? Yes. I don't even have to look. You are fine. You are hungover, but you're not currently vomiting. I sit up, and I like get out of the dried puddle of bile that I'm laying in and I take off my shit and I go and take a bath in the lake river, moat whatever uh, okay what are the rest of you doing? the cleric has been up preparing his spells for the day okay uh, Virgil, what are you doing? I'm still unconscious. I'd be at zero ah, yes, hit yes, points right now. Uh, you would have revived up to one unless you were at negative one. I was at negative one, so I'm cool. still unconscious. Still not fucked up. Gotcha. May, what are you doing? Watching over my tragically fallen comrades so they don't, you know, die without me just noticing. 
What is Bacon Bacon doing? Eating a piece of bacon. And Kasumi? Kasumi is just staring at the dagger. Still, ah, yes. that's the... Still fixated on that one small piece of your life. Got it. Yeah. You're like a high school kid trying to get his rocks off. Understood. Um, okay, well, Lahayam, as you are in the water, you slip due to the current. Damn. Sounds about right. Roll a dexterity save at a minus four. Is that a d20 or a d100? D20. And you have to roll your dexterity or lower after. Well, you. No. Okay, no. That's not how that works, but you would have been fine anyway. So, technically, you would have added four to your roll and then had to roll less than your dexterity. Oh, well. You, you rolled a six. You would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, I would have had a ten. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you do slip and fall, and you manage to only take a whopping two points of damage. And you narrowly avoid some razor shark mollusks on the bottom. Ah, oh, shit, that looks like food. Can I scavenge the mollusks without you, killing myself? Do you have any training in doing so? Probably not. Would you like to attempt it at a base chance? Sure. Roll percentage dice. Ah, yes. You, unfortunately, are not able to collect any of the clams. And you do shred your hand open. And you take a whopping another two points of damage because the dice like that fucking number tonight. <laughs> It'll be okay. Virgil, you're passed out, me. Still watching. He's just waiting for the group to be able to do stuff again. Back home. Bacon. Oh, yeah. Uh, the cleric is going to start doing some healing work here. So, uh, who's okay, unconscious what's again? Bacon doing? Well, what's Bacon Bacon doing? Yes, Bacon Bacon. I don't know, I'm just waiting for everyone to get their shit together here. Okay, Cleric, who are you healing this round, and for how much? Um, who is it? Uh, sorry, how... Virgil. You're unconscious. Virgil, yes. Let's, let's get to work on Virgil here. Okay. And I'm at full health at the moment, right? I was healed last session. That... That's up to you to uh, keep track of. Yes. Okay, thank you. The hell uh, is my heal roll again? Sorry. 1d8. 1d8, thank you. And Virgil, you are groggy as fuck. You feel like you may have just uh, gotten barely away from, I don't know, death's door. For the umpteenth time. Uh, Kasumi. Kasumi starts walking uh, to the direction of the palace. Or that little area. Okay. Not palace. Castle. Uh, Virgil, since you're just not coming back, you'll be able to do something next round. May, are you still watching over? Uh, is Lachayam still in the water? Lachayam is still in the water. I guess I'll go check in and make sure he hasn't drowned, because that'd be his luck and his decision making. <laughs> and you see copious amounts of blood pouring into the water. So I'll just sigh to myself and be like, yep, that fits. You're not dead, are you? Just yell to the to the guy. I'll turn around holding my hand and I'll look at it and I'll look back up and say, Eh, not at least for another ten minutes. Ah, uh, works for me, then I'll just go back to watching healing. 
Well, hi, Em. What are you doing after that short interaction? Um, I'm looking wistfully down at the mollusks, and I'm returning to the camp to put clothes on and bandage my hand. Oh, okay. Uh, bacon proper. Uh, I see, uh, Virgil's somewhat conscious, and the group's kind of back together. Yeah. So I ask the, the group, so what's the plan? Are we going back in? Yes. What? What? What do you mean going back in? What? what? I thought we were done. That's why we're back out here. What? What's going on? We're back out here so you didn't die and so the Kaim didn't die. I would have been fine. I... Eventually. Possibly. I'm definitely not good enough to go back in there for another fight. I'm going to need another day before I even consider that. If we wait that long, they'll probably be gone by then we won't get the answers we need about what they were doing here and why they openly started fighting us for no apparent reason. And how they knew to how to avoid all the monsters and traps that were here. Also, who are you people? Akayam will sit down on a log, gingerly tending to his hand, and say, Well, I could surmise that they knew to avoid all the monsters and traps by looking before they kicked in doors like we did. And uh, <laughs> they probably attacked us because we kicked in doors, and they didn't know what was kicking doors in. You know, I would have attacked something that kicked a door in. You're also of the type to drink, obviously, rancid things, so I can't take much stock in your word right now. And your thought process. Plus, you just got your hand carved up by whatever in a river. I take the bandages off, and I massage my healed hand. Who got their hand carved up? I don't know what you're talking about. How did you heal your hand? My regen. Uh, this would take a little bit more than that, seeing as you took more than just the one damage. The cut closed. It's closed, but you do have some insane scarification. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's like, have you ever seen somebody put a hot dog through a... What's a spiralizer? It, you put vegetables in it to turn it into spirals. It's like how they make butterfly chips. <laughs> the thing. It's like my back, right? Yeah. Worse. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, bacon proper. Uh, can cleric boy cast another heal on Virgil? Can you tell me what bacon proper is doing? Bacon <laughs> proper is just wondering how he's even stuck here and what's going on with these guys. Okay, now it's time for Mr. Clerk. Whatever he would like to do. He's gonna yell Virgil again. Maybe, hopefully, more successfully. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. <clears throat> Fucking Clerk. Mm. Needs to go back to cleric school. Alright, I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know who you guys are, and you guys keep getting close to me. And there's some freaking light touching me. I am not comfortable with it. What the fuck is going on? Kasumi turns around and wonders, Did you have a fucking amnesia? Just one. Just one singular amnesia. <laughs> Just an amnesia. 
Jenner Uprising. <coughs> My character will sigh and just... Just shut up and rest, you imbecile. I am going to get up, having clothed myself, and comment that I'm going to uh, go scout the front of the castle and see if there's any signs that something else came out since that drawbridge is broken down. Kasumi, what are you doing? We didn't get around to you yet this round. Uh, hold on. My uh, roll 20 keeps glitching. Uh, I walk towards uh, the castle. Uh, okay. So where is Kasumi now? About there. Baking ah, proper. Yes. Sees them wandering off and follows them. <laughs> oh, okay. Just go, you know, like, square at a time. Waiting for Mike to inevitably trigger something. Virgil, what are you doing? I uh, I guess I'm just gonna sit here a moment, try and collect my thoughts. No, you're not. What are you doing? Okay, I'm going to grab my short sword and get behind the cleric and hold him hostage and wonder what the fuck I'm doing here. You too, make opposing strength rolls. Ooh. Well then. Weird flex. Too bad you don't want that 20. Yeah. <laughs> Rolling 20. That's not even a die. He just rolled a 20. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's fine. That worked out for me then. No, that does not count, dude. That's, that's what I'm getting at is it worked out for me that way I can just re-roll again. Yeah. <sighs> and Mr. I Cleric, I need you to make a strength roll. Is that just a d20? Yes. D20. <laughs> well then. Oh. Well. It really wants you to get that 20. I've got some questions to ask you about which stocks I should buy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cleric is able to get away from you. Cleric speaks up. What are you doing? trying to help you Come, motherfucker let me help you motherfucker you're going to hell motherfucker I'm sitting there shaking with my short sword in hand I don't know who the fuck you people are I don't know what the fuck you've been doing to me I have been without consciousness for too long what the fuck am I doing here explain to me this shit we are out seeking treasure, a band, a group of comrades on an adventure of sorts, if you could call it that. And this is where we hold on to that for a half a second while I check something. Oh, holy shit. Uh, let's see how... Oh. And Lou, you feel like you are slightly inc inclined to believe him. You still want more answers. We were in battle, and you were knocked unconscious. We dragged you out of there, just barely. You just barely survived. I slightly lower my short sword towards the cleric as I sigh and then thank him 
But then as I turn to the rest of the group, I point my short sword and like, I still don't trust any of the rest of you. Listen, if any of us wanted you dead, you would surely be dead. You were unconscious. Unconscious. You have no conscience. You're a horrible <laughs> human being. Unconscionable. <laughs> Guess I have to let this lie. Put my short sword away, and I sit back down, reluctantly. Let the cleric get back to work. As I tear open one of my <laughs> my arrow wounds. What? From, what? from the from the pan. From the quick motions, because I'm still at only four HP. No, I, I thought you meant like you were going to just like put no, your finger I, into it and tear it open. No, I end up doing so by the quick motions. Gotcha. So as that interaction's going on, uh, the three of you who moved away to the castle can see but not quite hear what is going on. What do you guys do? I ignore whatever what it was going on and continue on to, to the castle. Wow, you're really playing in character. Interior is sus. <laughs> Just gonna get voted out of that anyway. I'm following the uh, castle investigation group here. May? He's just watching the cleric kill Virgil, making sure he doesn't pull another stupid stunt like that again. Okie dokie. Because he's sitting there watching me, I'm giving him the dirtiest look possible. Ah, yes. You're looking like yourself. What are you doing beyond the, the dirty look, Luke? Just sitting there letting the cleric do his job. Because. Me? Still just watching? Yep. Lahayam, you get to the point where the oh, oh, noise. I want to heal again. Yep. I was, wait, I was waiting for fucking time. You said my name, so I went <laughs> rolled. No, I, I said Lahayam. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry, I got confused. I forgot you can keep name. that roll though. Oh, thank you. Lahayam, what are you doing, oh. Mr. Hyman? Uh, you remember that that drawbridge is out. I do. Uh, I mean, I look around, uh, the drawbridge is obviously broken. Is there, uh, is there any signs out here that, uh, you know, fresh footsteps or anything besides ours that they might have, you know, fuck, jumped over the gap or some crazy shit? They no. seemed pretty agile. No, nothing like that. Hmm. Well... They got out. The only way out looks like it leads into the river. Who knows? Maybe we'll find them washed up on the shore. <clears throat> Bacon speaks up. You know, there's a mul there's probably multiple ways out of here, judging from the rubble I saw up above. It's. A Assuming. boat around a fort, isn't it? Assuming comments saying there must be something more into this castle. I feel like I feel like there's something we can't see, but we need something else to find out what's going on in this. Because I was transported here randomly by a bunch of little people. Looks like what? Looks at little you. people? Yes. And can, they took my ring. Can we hear them from all the way back here? No, you cannot. Okay. I'm going to repeat what was just said. You were transported here randomly. Yes, like teleported. Like, by little people. Yes. Who stole your ring. Yes. And I want my ring back. Do you know who the little people were? No, but... They were wearing green, and they had 
incredible invisible kind of force that I almost like they were bending my body to their will. Uh-huh. And they teleported you here. Yes. All right. Bacon backs away slowly in disbelief. Kasumi starts forming a fist with her right hand, which is the only hand that's free, and fire starts to slowly appear in her fist. Lakaim steps out of the way. <laughs> Directly into the river. <laughs> no, there's a little, there's a little spit of land there. It's fine. I just think it'd be funnier if you just kind of fell into the river. I'm sure you do. I'm, I'm sure you would love for me to just float, you know, through all the drawbridge rubble. Should that be a roll, though? Down no. off to the side, you He's know. He's not hastily doing it or anything. Right, step aside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna examine this, uh, this burned out drawbridge. Could I fix this with a mending spell, or is it too big of an object? Oh, let me look into your mending spell. I had that question like last game, but it wasn't pertinent, so I didn't bother asking. <sighs> Do you have access to mend? Yeah, it's like a level one spell. Is it? At least for magic users. That's my shadow run books. That's the wrong books. Mending. Okay. Area of effect. Oh, one object. That's what I said. Honestly, nobody has ever fucking used that spell. Ever. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to fix it. I mean, the only argument that I came up with against it would be, like, it's not specific on if I need to have the pieces together or if I can just, like, magic them back from being disjointed. Well, also, I have a question. When it collapsed, did the parts that were sitting there stay on the land and the castle, or did parts of it float away? Because most D&D &D mending requires all the pieces to be there. I'm seeing one problem. It will repair small breaks, and only if there is but one break. So, this is fucked up in a whole bunch of spots. I do give you props for trying. It has a second, uh, <clears throat> I forget the word, but it has a second set for wooden objects with multiple breaks. Are you looking at a first edition oh. spell? Yes, he is. I'm looking at the same spell. Okay. Just, you just gotta, just gotta go one sentence down. Yeah, I kind of skim over spells when I look at them. Normally the first and the last sentences are the most important. Um, yeah, no, you, um, yeah. <laughs> Kaboom, the bridge is repaired back to its initial state that you found it in. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, diggity. I throw my hands out over the chasm, you know, tossing a fucking two little magnetic rocks into the water. And like ejecting light from my hands as I like weave the fucking pieces out of the water and back together. And that's my mending spell for the day. We're left with four spells that I've had since yesterday. I, I got I gotta give you bonus XP for that shit because nobody has ever once used that spell. And I've been playing for, shit, 11 years now. Oh, even you don't want to be playing magic characters at all. Yeah, and you don't want a mic that doesn't keep cutting in and out. I'm leaning back because I'm 
my character's relaxing at the moment, sorry. Um, I said, you don't want me playing a spellcaster then. I've got ingenious ways no, of using mending. Do it. What are you going to do, break someone's face and cast mending on their skull and beat them down again? Um, break a barrel in half. Like, cut it in half. Ooh, Snap it over somebody's head half. and mend Ooh. it over their head. <laughs> Chopping the head nah, off. Nah, fam, that wouldn't work. Anywho, uh, so the bridge is repaired. What is everyone else doing? Still waiting for healing. From what Kasumi walks up and enters the castle through the bridge that was just recently repaired. Okay. Barash okay I'm just gonna watch her walk past and then just mumble, you know what? Ladies first. And you see that ass swaying in the wind. I don't think you want to psych her. What'd you say? I don't think you want to psych her ass. Don't stick uh, your dick I, crazy. I don't know, man. Azula was like... <laughs> Way to reveal. Like, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, we are, we are all evil here. Clearly, I'm psycho too, so like... Except you're psycho in an interesting way. You don't even go here. Um, I, I guess uh, Bacon, you would have gotten your healing off. And then back to Virgil. You are up to, I believe it is 11 total now? Yes, I am. May? Uh... He'll look to Virgil and the cleric and say, Is everything good here? I can't leave you alone without killing the cleric. The cleric at least gave me information. The rest of you stayed silent. He's the only one with my trust at the moment. I'll be watching you closely. Do whatever you wish. I could not possibly care less. He said you ain't got no nipples. I'm going to go with all the other idiots and see what they're up to. Okie dokie. La Haim. La Hello. What are you doing? <clears throat> La Haim. Still hungover. And very nearly out of spells for the day after having... <laughs> Already? Well, well, I didn't get restful sleep. I'm using my right. spells from yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck it. After uh, that impressive display of magic making this bridge better than it was than when we got here. Nope, just the same. It's definitely like a half a quarter inch better. Nope, it is exactly the same as you found it. I'll take it. It's fixed. I am allowing it to fix one break because that's what it says. So you did not fix the fact that it was rotted down. You didn't fix the fact that it was burnt. You fixed the shattering in pieces. Anyways, you were doing what? I am sitting down and huffing. Oh, uh, yes. Everyone is, loves uh, whippets. It is not pleasant to push magical energy through your brain when you're hungover. Bacon proper, what are you doing? I am going to follow Kasumi. Okay, and uh, that leads us to Kasu. Well, no, sorry, Mr. Clark. I look at Virgil and tell him, let's move. They're going into the castle. We'll wait by the door. What is that accent? <laughs> so, oh, he's know, Russian. <laughs> he's got a different accent every day, so. His name is Yoji. He's very Asian. What the fuck? Yeah, you must you speak. Know. Right, this. Russia's in Asia, oh. so I mean, come on. Oh, let's not have a crazy racism in fact our YouTube channel. Uh, okay, so you're giving him that little speech, and then? And then I start moving. And then? Kasumi. What is Kasumi doing? Kasumi turns around and says to Bacon. We still have explanation to do with this. 
and put and like points at the dagger in my freaking hand because I will not get over that. Do I have to tell you again? You offered to inspect the dagger for me. I'm I not taking any responsibility for the fucking dagger stuck to your head, man. Care. Well, it sounds like someone's in a little bit of a denial of responsibility here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I did for that round. Virgin. Virgin Mobile. How? I haven't heard Virgil's name. Oh. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Okay. Uh, Mank, what are you doing? Hey, <laughs> do, I, do I make it to Lakaim and his merry band of idiots? Yes, you're significantly faster than everybody, so you can make it up there. I stumble upon Lakaim. Like, oh, the bridge is fixed. Finally, one good thing happening on this trip. What's your doing? It is, although I'm afraid I won't be doing much more today. And and I like bleh, towards the water. That's probably that's probably for the best. Your bad decision making. This is the first good decision that I've seen you have. All my decisions are good decisions. You just don't think how I think. And that's a blessing. And then I'll go past and just check in on Bacon and Evil Witch. Thanks. Is everything, everything good in here? Nobody's dead yet? No, but we're working on it. Okay, just, if you're gonna kill someone, just kill the witch, please. Do, do we want to scout? I assume he stares angrily at the monk. Angrily? Angrily. He does nothing to. He, he he just glares angrily back. He is not trying to hide his disdain at all. Back in. Bacon's gonna push past Kasumi, head towards the stairs. Which stairs? Carefully. The, the big old stairs there? Oh, okay. Are there more stairs that I don't know about? There's more stairs already on the map. They're the ones technically going up to the second floor. I thought we couldn't go up those stairs, though. You can go up, you can go up and there's just nowhere to go. Afterwards. Oh, I see. What are how you doing? Far, how far, go? sorry, how far can I go? I'm at, like, what's my max distance here? Uh, 12 squares. So you can move a good, good bit. I'm gonna head towards the room that the guys disappeared into. Oh, okay. Uh, you're human, right? I am half human, half elf. Half elf? Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting. And I am being cautious. Yes, we understand. You have a condom on your sword. Hey, that's okay. a hand on my bow. So, as you get up to that point, you notice off to your left that there is an area. Let me click, damn it, here. You don't remember anybody going into yet. Interesting. I'll look back and yell at Kasumi. Hey, bitch. Ooh. Over here. Come see this. Kasumi responds, I didn't hear my name. I'm not moving from here. Let's go, dagger hand. I'm still refusing to move. Princess Elizabeth. Kasumi, get over here. Kasumi starts walking slowly out of spite. And I stop at the stairs. Do you remember seeing this room off to the side before? 
I have, but I thought I'm already. I thought you've already went through that, so. I didn't go through it. To be fair, I was the last one from this group to arrive in this castle. Your you princess is in another castle. Well, there's no invisible green men, right? No. So if that's the extent of that interaction. Um, Ian? No. Uh, Hold on. Uh, yeah. No? No. Clerk. Yeah. Are you sure? This time I'm sure. Are you comfortable with the results of that success? With the results of what success? The fact that I'm sure? Yes. <laughs> so Clerk is just moving up there. Uh, yeah, Kasumi right. already did her thing. Uh, Virgil, are you doing anything this round, or are you going to sit there and be arrogant? I am going to get up and follow. Okie doke. <laughs> now, what are you doing at the beginning of this round, seeing as you are the first one in marching order, even though you were the last one in line? Our marching order is just going that direction. <laughs> the marching order is fucked because of the fact that I don't trust any of these people anymore. So what are you doing? Guess I will gently walk past the cleric and potentially shoulder check me the monk make my way inside. If you do it, he'll do it right back to as hard as he can. He'll try and push him there if he can. Well, roll the hit. The wall. Virgil. Alright. Assuming he was an unarmed. Oof. Yes, it was unarmed. And May, he does manage to hit you. Make a dexterity roll to try and avoid falling into the water. That's a 20, right? Yes. You have to roll your dexterity or lower. I probably did not. Sploosh. Splooshy the uh, douchey. Uh, my dexterity or lower? Yes. Oh, I went lower. Woohoo. Alrighty, well, you managed to not fall into the river, and you do know that Virgil is kind of a dick. Can I do it back to him while he's passing? Uh, no, since he was, he hit you and then passed, you would have lost your footing and then had to try and save it. So, just remember this encounter. Oh, he will. He will. There are stairs up ahead. He's hey, aware of it. remember <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> Reese will shave his mustache. Uh, May, now it's your turn. What are you doing? Oh, someone's gonna fucking die. Oh, casually walk past Virgil. Like, Timber Down Boy. I'll get you for that. I'll go up the stairs. Walk past Kasumi, and he'll look at her and be like, "I thought, I thought he said your name quite clearly every single time." <laughs> oh shit! What up? Is that boy? I thought and you then... were suck dick. <sighs> that was weak. He's not gonna respond to that, even though he could easily too easy and he'll just walk at the bacon saying is there a plan are we exploring I remember seeing this room off to the side before uh I noticed it but it was kind of chaotic with all the you know arrows and daggers and people collapsing and people drinking poison and a random that's what I'm doing right now Ian stop breathing into your mic So, that is the situation we are currently in. I do believe the last one I moved up was May. Ian, what are you doing? Are you still chilling outside, trying not to poop your pants? Basically, I'm a get up. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a stand up. 
walk across the bridge, enter the courtyard. And I'm sweating like. Wait, did you pop the molly? I, I popped. I definitely popped a molly, but I didn't get the high. I just got the come down. Like. Ah uh, yes, you skip the fun. Like, Hello, and then, cat. And then we're out and like. Bumfuck Egypt. Nowhere knows where we. No one, you know. There's no AC. There's not even like. DC. There's not even like shade really. Like we're in a open courtyard right now. Oh, trust me, this group is throwing plenty of shade. Oh, that ain't shade. I say, are you openly bitching about all this? Oh uh, no, I'm I'm visually bitching about it. You can see it in my face. Well, you're at my back at the moment, so. You can feel the bitchiness staring into your back as I walk up. It feels like whenever Kasumi enters a room. Ah, thank Or says in Damn. the room. Then at that point, I have a hand on my but... battle axe and rotate. Are you good? I'll look at him. No, it's chaotic neutral. A solid, like, quarter of sweat just sort of drops off my face. And I'm like, I've felt better. And then I just sort of, like, walk past him. Stumble right. it a little bit. Back him. I ignore the commotion happening in the back. Head over to room 13 to take a good look around. Carefully. Well, the first thing you see, uh, it helps if I do reveal areas, not hide areas. Mm. Maybe. Oh my Jesus Christ, I clicked reveal areas. How many times do I have to hit reveal areas? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so you see it kind of has a little bit of a bend in it. What do you do when you see that? Is it just bending? There's no stairs or anything? It just goes around the corner? It goes around the corner, and then you cannot see around that corner without stepping around the corner. Is it dark in here? Do I need a torch? Uh, no, there's no roof, and it's broad daylight. Oh, okay. Uh, I will pull up my dagger and peer around the corner. And what you see around that corner is... Are those downward stairs? Are those downward Benz stairs? This is downward stairs. No, that's an obelisk. You can't fool me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, be ready to kill a voidling. Yeah, right? Or a whole bunch of them. Bacon that's sings, the point where I the stairs, say... steps back out of the room, yells to everyone, Listen up! There's stairs <laughs> going down. How do you know they don't go up? I looked down them, didn't I? Yeah, but they go up from the other end. Okay, right. yeah. okay. Considering I woke up from consciousness, this caster looks sick. Were we in some kind of engagement that never got finished? Yeah, you ran away at the altar. Uh -huh. <laughs> Didn't the priest explain it? Didn't the cleric explain it to you? Not the whole thing, just told me I was unconscious. I need the whole we were... story. Someone give me answers. We were in a fight, there was monsters, there was a spider, you got knocked out. I think it's against a spider, I don't remember. You got knocked out a lot. <laughs> a spider? I pushed I... through the door and I yelled back, The pile of bodies in here can explain it better than anyone else will. Are you in uh, this room now? No, I, I walked up the stairs and then, you know, I pointed to, like, the body. I think there might have been two. Yeah, there was one body out here, and there was one in there. Yeah. So I guess I walk up, 
push push past the bitch. No, push her, please. Just push her. Stab her in the tank. Like, down the stairs. In the tank. Not this time. I see the body. I'm like, okay, did we finish this? No. No. How, how large did. was this force, do we recall? Including the dead bodies? Yes. I believe four to five. That sounds about <coughs> accurate. And I like stumble <coughs> over towards this door and fish around in my pocket. Well, ha ha, fish. Thinking about this tactically, tactfully, tactical fully, Jesus Christ. Tactically. Yes, thank you. Tactically, we uh, seem a little underprepared right now. To be fair, the one of them who I believe is the leader does have a dagger in the face due to our lovely witch here. But how long have we been gone from this area? About a night. Or a day, depending. I like so it. he's also had time to recover. By the looks of it, one of our magic users hasn't had time to recover. And this cleric here healed me several times. Do we think we can handle this without... Another rest to regain ourselves. If it's two and a half versus four and a quarter, I think we should win. But if not, we have some body shields we can always use. <laughs> like you, for example. I believe you see you as my vote. <clears throat> I ignore the conversation and step into this room, vaguely recalling, as I hold my gem up and look around the room, that my little buddy signaled something about there being something hidden in here. What is your gem? The gem of seeing things. I look for hidden door. You notice on the middle portion of the far east wall, there is a secret, secret door. Very secret. <laughs> I, I make a yell from the room. Towards I make the a bar. yell. I make a yell. Hey! It is the most strength I can muster. Is that all you say? Yeah. Okay. That's it. Can we go check, or is that my turn to do that? Or? So I look over at this monk and the other person. I look at them and I kind of do a facial gesture to that room that Lakai is in. <laughs> like, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> just kind of look at them and look over, like. You know him. What's going on? Go check. I'll look back and be like, fine. But if it's more spoiled drink, I'm drowning him in it. Fair. <clears throat> Didn't really seem to like him either way. And he'll stop, he'll come in and say, what have you found this time? And please don't eat it. Whatever it is. Do not eat secret food. He doesn't know that at this point. <clears throat> uh, with his gem, yes, he absolutely knows. No, no, no. no the bug I would know. know. Oh, your character? Yeah. yeah, no. I lean against the nearest object, clearly out of breath, and I point at the wall and say it's a door. And you how is... Oh. <clears throat> you, the, the exact, the exact uh, interaction goes like this. Uh, Door. Ah, uh, yes. A great acting. I guess that's all I get from, but I guess we'll examine it. And he'll look back to the group and, say, and just say, uh, our 
our uh, friend here seems to have found what he believes to be a, a door of some sorts in this room. It would explain how they escaped without digging past us. Should we check it out? Yeah, two options to go down. Dandy. On the boy or on the girl? Why not both? Hey man, you be you. Or whoever. Okay, this is the part where you guys converse amongst yourselves. I already I'm made my comment. I want people I to come and join. I <laughs> still suggest we sit here and wait a bit. Have people recover. I suggest we ignore Dementia's decision or suggestion and we choose one of the found areas that we could possibly go down to. No, no, keep in mind you haven't opened that door. No. Which one? The secret, secret door. door. We yeah, don't, know, yeah, it goes, but we don't like... know it goes down, we don't know it goes up, we don't know what it does. You don't know. Is, oh, is it is it like a um, is it a vertical like the like a normal door like not like on the floor kind of like trap door? No, no, it's it's a regular door. Oh, in a wall. In yes, the wall. in the wall. Secret. Okay, then ignore the down part. There's two sections we could try to go into, which may lead to the same area or no. We pick one. Oh, we spread out and search for clues. Good job, gang. I think it's in our I'm, best I'm interest to stay for... together. I'm wondering what the cleric's gonna do. I said, what is for that the cleric, cleric decision. doing? Guys, we have 45 minutes. Do fucking something. <laughs> Cleric falls bacon. Cleric falls bacon. May I suggest that we go the route of the hidden door? If we go down the steps that we haven't explored yet, that nobody has been down, there could be monsters galore down there, or whatever else. At least we go this path. The worst thing we should encounter should be the people that we already fought and wounded. But also people who are ready for us on the way down those stairs, way through that way. Possibly. They wouldn't have thought we'd probably discover the secret door as well. And monsters would be ready for us re regardless, as we've seen, as you've seen firsthand. I have no idea what you're talking about. Exactly, but it happened. I still don't know what you're talking about. Virgil is sus. Cleric looks over Virgil. Just take his word for it. Well, I do want my dagger back. It is kind of better than that guy's face. Bacon heads over to the secret passage, looks at the door, sees if he can pick the lock, if there is a lock. It is a slab of stone. Can I push it? Open. Congratulations, you learned how to open a door. You have an achievement five years old. It's time for a group oh. kick. It's a, a tricky door there. Emergency meeting. <laughs> yeah, right? Wait, so the door is right here? Yes. The door is right at that S. Yep. Oh, I thought it was over here. No. <laughs> the, the S's on this map stand for a secret, which reminds me, I know you guys have access to the map. I have not been able to cover things up. I don't necessarily know how to. So if you see something on the map that might give you any more information and you use it to your advantage, fuck you, your character's dead. Okay. Which is why I've been fucking playing dumb. Yep. Playing. Yep. I saw Bacon Doring in 7. Yes. Anyway, let's play this game and do some shit before we stop. <laughs> I just move up right before the door. Wait, there I'll pick up there as well. Guess when we proceed <laughs> to the area too. 
Jeez, we just piled into this room real quick. Sure, yeah. nothing you bad want will happen. Fireball. <laughs> All right, who's going down first? I'm assuming their stairs are going down again. There are stairs, and they are going down. Any takers? I'm a tad injured, but I'll take. I'll I'll go first. You're going I, first. I followed the monk right behind. No, you are gonna give me a goddamn second. So we're gonna change up this marching order. Why don't you go first, considering you don't trust anybody except for the priest? Exactly. Why did we go into EDM background music? I um, have no idea. <laughs> That is what you see. And your character is right at the top of that there staircase. I guess I shall lead the way down. And I can't see my character. Or Well, you you're you're responsible for putting your token on there. Oh, okay, I didn't know how to do that. Not okay, sure how to so do it's that. gonna go make assuming. How do I do that again? Bacon. I don't remember. Bacon's gonna go third. So we're doing a new marching order. May. Let me, God damn it! Let me edit I'm, this bullshit. I'm editing it currently. Uh, okay. May Sumi Bacon. I will go fourth. Lakaim. Eric. I did it. Hey, and I'm really big. Yeah, this this is very unfortunate. Hold on, let me see if I can't edit this setting. Page setting. Page scale. Cell width. Uh, let's do F. There's your new marching order and watch list. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. And now, May, you have two tokens. That's a problem. So at this point I, it is when I tell you guys to zoom the fuck in on the map when you get onto this map. Because fuck you, that's why. It's a small map. It, it's it's very large map, which is why there is problem. All right, so I guess I'll go first, and I'll make my way downtown. I can't Walk that. Oh, I, I probably shouldn't say that on YouTube. Okay, um, so as you get downstairs, yeah. you see a wall on either side of you. And then... We have. Right. You're you're here now too. Who's here with me? So, uh, Kasumi is here. So we're just gonna follow our marching order down these stairs, then. Yes. Can I examine the walls and see if make sure there's nothing gonna like, pop out or like I don't know burn me or stab me or collapse on me? Sounds like checking for traps. <laughs> yes, and monks do have that ability. And may I do that, please? Yeah. It's a hundred, right? Yeah, do one hundred. That is one tiny ass there. Congratulations. There's no traps. Yay. I know, I know that for sure, or I just don't find any? You don't find any. Okay. I'll yell back. I believe this first section is clear of traps. It's just two walls and a narrow, and, well, not really a narrow space, but in a space here. Okay. For sake of time, I'm going to move everybody to this fucking map. Congratulations. You're all on that map. We're all Jesus. on this Jesus, gotta zoom in that far? Yes, you have to zoom in that far. 
All right, we're going to be here a minute. Mm -hmm. Nope, because each grid is still only 10 by 10. It's just I have to zoom in that far to be able to see, like, Tokens. people in individual tiles. What is the light like down here? You have a torch. Okay. God, I gotta play on, like, fucking max zoom. Yeah. Went to 20% myself. 250. Yeah. Yep, 250. Yeah, I didn't even bother doing, like, control plus or anything. I can't see my token. Where did I put it? Oh, God. Thank you. You were over in the fog of war. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what happens when I drag it from a second monitor. Yeah. I, I stumble my way down these stairs, torch in hand, other hand braced against the wall, and I look around. What do we see down here? You see nothing, especially because one of you has not put a token down. Uh, you, Ian, you did yeah. not. The one with the torch has not put his token down. I want my token. I don't really, really want my token. There you go. All right, now you have your token. Let me put you there. Yes, you see four rough-hewn stone walls and uh, a staircase. Wait, well, I hope the staircase we came down? As a matter of fact, it is. Congratulations, Bacon. Such yes. productive reasoning. I know, right? I hold <laughs> my <laughs> gem up to my eyeball again. Squinting through it and look around for secret doors. Which direction do you look at first? Uh, this direction. I to can't fucking <laughs> tell when it pings the circle. It, it, he's looking to the west. You see, there is, matter of fact, a secret door and a space there. All right. Or dollars, depending on who you ask. I fiddle around with the wall and try to find how, where it opens up that. You get the feeling that you can just fucking push that shit in. I guess I'll just fucking push that shit in. And as the door opens, you see... Flip. And then... Flip. And that is what you see for now. That is what I see for now. Oh, your torch has some good reach there. That is, That's that only is 40 feet. That's still a good torch. It's a good torch, man. I will uh, go past and take the lead again. Walk into this room right here. And take my weapon out. And just prepare myself for anything. You're Adam. walking in the room? Yes. Whenever DM asks something like that, you say no, by the way. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I did it, so. Alrighty, so you actually, hold on, let me read this real quick. Ah, that is the only sentence I needed. Um, are you doing anything particular when you're entering the room? I'm ready. That's about it. Okay. Put, put you hear, and then you see a massive ogre charging you. Oh, dear God. Roll for initiative. Oh, Where's boy. It? That's Here. a six -sider. I have it. And he is going to try and hit you in the face with... For some reason, he's using a polearm because that's what ogres do, I guess. Copycat. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't, I don't think... Although... This, this might be a hit. What is your AC? Four. How's it a four? His uh, yeah. bracers. Bracers. Ah, I forgot. I gave you this. Uh, 
Okay. Nope. I missed you. And it will be your turn to do a thing. I will yell and just say, Ogre attack! Singular ogre attack, I believe. And I'll, <laughs> and I'll try and... Well, where's the ogre, like, right now? Like, how, how, is, like, right here? Or where um, is he is in your fucking face. They could see him, obviously, probably. Oh, yes. Well, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can't, uh... Olga. Do I have any assets for Olga? I think it's the doorway that they went through. Uh, uh, standard 10 feet wide. Pretty so much the whole cube. wall was the secret doorway. Oh. Okay. And are are these walls, or is this just an open area? That is just an open area. That is to determine each 10 foot hex. Those black spots are columns. Okay. And he'll, columns. he'll also yell back to the group and say, Come in quickly, I will try and lure it away. So you have room to enter and help us help me slay this foul thing. Oh, okay. And I'll run over here and try and taunt the ogre to try and you know follow him. If I can. I'm assuming I can. I'm sorry, I was reading this module. What's up? I'm gonna run away and try and taunt the ogre to follow me so people can come in and not be, you know, Oh yeah, he is fully fixated on you. He is trying to beat that ass with all the strength he has in his body. Okay, and can I still attack him or no? Does that you run can into move me? or attack? Okay, so then I just move. Yeah. Okay. Um, it would depend on what you're doing. Uh, Kasumi, what are you doing? I yell at the monk and. Basically, time to dodge because I'm about to cast something at the ogre, which is burning hands. Ow. Okay, roll your damage, and I will roll percentage dice to see if May would be. That's a d20, right? Uh, no. That depends on what the spell says, which. Oh, I will look it up. Hold on. Where where is Kasumi now? Kasumi's supposedly still in the room with the I was well. like I was like pretty much following okay. the whole time behind you. Uh you were still like behind the group and okay. Oh no, no I just didn't, I wasn't able to move my token for some reason. Burning Hands is just straight up one point of damage per level. So what level are you? Five. So this Olga is going to take five hitty points of damage. And you did manage to get it. So uh, May was not hit by your Burning Hands. Thank God. Mark off your spell. Alrighty. Uh, bacon. Oh shit. Alright. Bacon sees what's happening quickly. Unsheathes his bow. Unsheathes his bow. Okay. Pulls an arrow. And takes aim at the ogre. And... That is going to be a miss. Let me double check that. Hopefully I didn't hit me. Three versus... Oh yeah, you need a 16 to hit. Well, maybe next time. And you barely missed May by the skin of your scrotum. 
Lahayam, Lahim, Lashim, whatever the fuck. It, it's spelled a way that I didn't recognize. You, Ian, what? What are you? Yo, what's good? All right. Uh... Yo, this is not the situation that I wanted to walk into today. There's a lot of yelling. There's a whooshing of fire. My head's hurting a lot. I I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go sit on this staircase and, <laughs> okay. and, and stay out of sight of that. Uh, Yoshi, what are you doing? Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. Yoshi. Ah oh, yes, good talk. He is uh gonna hang back and make sure nobody dies over here. Sounds good, Virgil. Well, I guess I will draw my weapons, walk my ass in there, and take a swing with my hand axe at this bastard. Uh, okay, roll the hit. What level are you? I am level three. Uh, okay. Damn, honky. You hit that motherfucker so hard. All right. Is it considered a large target? Ooh, that is also a good question. Uh, so. This does not say, but I'm going to say yes. Because it's a fucking ogre. Okie dokie. Nope. When I tell you you take damage, you fucking take the damage. Um, does anybody have a second attack barring Bacon since he swapped weapons? I would. Alright, you can roll your second attack. Okay, so it's a hit. Wait, no, that would have been only a plus two. That still would have been a hit. Yeah, it still would have been a hit. Uh, and yes, Lou, that was. Okay. So that's a eight plus. Oh, okay, Senior Ogre Boy falls down, go boom. So, sitting at your feet is a dead ogre who did a very screamy thing. Lakaim yells from the stairway, Ah, my head! Ah, uh, yes, now mine hurts too. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, thank you. I think everyone. On YouTube is gonna love that. Well, I'm sure they will. You mean the two people that will ever watch this? You and Sue. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm just reading this and you see a heap of old clothing and skins, a large wooden chest, and that's it in the room. I'd like to go inspect that chest. Where is that chest in the room? 
It doesn't tell me, so I'm gonna say that is right goddamn there. Before you do that, and once I realize that you're going to do that, I will yell at you to stop immediately, because you may not recall this, but we have encountered Mimics before, and I don't feel like losing my money again. Katsumi butts in and, sa and says, how about we throw something at it to see if it reacts? Sure, we'll throw something at it. Kasumi, extra little tiny bit of experience. Congratulations. I go and grab Kasumi and try to toss her over at the chest. Uh, no, Kasumi you interrupts. Do that, and I will burn everybody here. Shockingly enough, my vote was for the guy I am. <laughs> then I will say well played well played I will proceed to throw uh, to check my inventory and pull out a gold coin and just throw it at the chest roll the hit just a regular d20 then Roll it, yep. Regular D20. No bonuses. Nope. If you miss a chest, it'd be very impressive. You missed the fucking chest. <laughs> <laughs> it clatters off of this column right here. I'm still out of it from the you know, consciousness. Good excuse. If you're doing that, then take minus two to your dexterity for a while. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm making up an excuse, not being actually. Let's so. Go. What's the commotion about? There was an ogre that was slain. No thanks to you. And now there's a chest. Lakan looks around at the party. So we're throwing our money at the chest? <laughs> you recall how well our last encounter with the chest went, right? Is there a loose rock on the ground? Tons of them. I pick up a loose rock and throw it at the chest. Roll it. <laughs> you also miss the chest. And this time it clatters off in that old direction. I'm gonna say, fuck it. None of us can throw. I'm gonna whip open the chest. Ah, uh, yes. Two of us miss, so none of us six can throw. Nope. I, I'm just not... I'm impatient today. Are the six of us gonna stand here in this damp ass, dirty ass dungeon room with this it's dead moist. pile of shit, throwing rocks at the chest like a bunch of cavemen? I just whip it open. It's locked. I would like to attempt to pick the lock. You just attempted to open the chest. Let's let oh, someone yeah, else do true. something. I'll yell to him and say, so? What's, what's going on with the chest? Seems locked. Oh, wonderful. I'll try my hand at doing, unlocking it then. Enjoy. That's 100, right? Yes, D100. Oh, I think even for you that might do it. What level are you? Oh, I think for you, that might not do it. Katsumi walks up to the chest. I'm surprised everybody calls me here, bitch, but... I cast the spell on lock. Hold on, hold the fuck up. We yeah, don't he... know if he successfully unlocked it or not. Yeah, let, let that go through and first. And that's not what the spell's called anyway. Oh, it, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a level two? Mm-hmm. Full race? Human. Human, what's your next area? 16? Uh, hold on. 
16, yeah. Sixteen. Okay, yeah, you can you can go ahead and cast your spell now. Bummer. <laughs> and you here? I. Yep, yep. And the uh, chest opens. And what is inside the chest? Cheese. Um, you see. Glass beads, candlesticks, copper, silver, and gold coins, and in a small cloak. Kasumi picks up the small cloak and examines it. Oh god, not again. <laughs> it's Wait, a cloak with, with that is small. Hand? You can pick something up with one hand, boyo. Wait, wait, what did they pick up? A cloak. A small cloak. Okay, I thought you said tome and I was really confused. Nope. Okay, never mind. I'd like to collect the money. That's in there. Well, are, are you. How are you collecting it? Because will... there is a chest full of coins. Oh, it's a chest full. Yes. Ooh. Well then. Huh. I guess I will just leave that there then. And I will try to make a mental note of it. Uh, nope. Uno momento. Um, everybody roll percentage dice. For voting? It's D100, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh. No, don't oh no yet. Uh, okay, so... Doesn't Bacon I would roll twice for... Yeah, Bacon would roll twice. And then the second one, I'm assuming, is the player. Yeah. Alrighty, so... Ignore my roll. I was testing something. Mazarin and Virgil. Yes. You hear screaming coming from over here. What kind of screaming... Uh, you can't quite determine. It sounds like it might be some sort of words, but you can't make them out. Is there any emotion that we can, that we can hear? Like, is it oh, fearful or is it chanting? fucking terror. I get my weapons at the ready and turn towards the sound. I do as well, and then tell the group, hey, there was a scream... It sounded like someone was filled with terror. Multiple someones is what oh. you hear. Lou, you can't quite tell how many. You're thinking probably one. Oh, wow. then multiple someones. There's likely that group that we fought encounters thing even worse. Shall we? Tell you. And I'll, and I'll look to, I'll look to Yasumi and, and just say, you want your dagger back, don't you? That would be beneficial, yes. <laughs> I also, uh... Well, what's the rest of that sentence? We'll never know. Um... Specifically, which one? Okay. Yep, cool. 
Uh, write that down on your character sheet and write down it's from the chest in room seven. Okay. Um, so you guys who heard the Scrammy Scrams, you relayed that information, you are readying your weapons, and then what? We more moved over to where we had heard them. Yes. And I I guess we'll also And you, you see a, a door right there. I guess I'll also right. confirm that, you know, our group is actually coming with us because we've heard our confirmation. I'm just gonna keep going. I will peer uh, I'll try and gently push the door, see if I can just crack it open to peer in, see what's going on. Yes, you can crack the door open. And as you do the screaming seems to get louder, and that's kind of what you see right now, but just imagine it's not such a shitty uh, depiction of it. Start to open it wider to see whether this is just a corridor. Okay, you're, or... you're opening the fucking door. Yeah, I'm opening it. I'm opening that's it. That's what you see. And in said room, you see... Uh... Yes, roll, roll your uh, percentage dice to see if you find it. Um, but in that room, you see, you find it. Uh, you see that there are uh, two sets of manacles on each wall. For those of you that don't know what a manacle is, it's 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 the things that pin people to walls and prisons. You said and to roll of, D100? Not you. Oh. Someone messaged me. Um, so you see that in said manacles there are a a gnome who is actually like being held in the air about four feet off of the ground and two humans also pinned to the wall and they are just screaming in abject horror of the entire situation and you can kind of make out the phrase help us we don't want to die Why are you here? Who are you asking? I'm at, uh, I'm asking the uh, the you said gnome. Yes. I'm asking the gnome. Why the that ogre? Here? He abducted us. He said he was gonna have me for a snack. Please, just get me out of here. I then go and ask the humans why they're here. Yeah, the gnome's word isn't enough. He was going to eat us. I'd like to look around the room, see if there are any keys to these manacles. As you're looking around, all you keep hearing is, please help us, we're merchants. We will pay you to get us out of here. Calm down while I look for the keys. Calm down, I've been stuck here for months. I understand. I'd rather not Just get me out of here. Do we hear this or just or just, just... Oh yeah, everyone can fucking hear I, this at this at point. At this point I'm getting fed up. I just whip my hand axe out and I just swing it at the manacles. Roll a hit. Uh uh. Oh, do you have a way of preventing this? I'm... No, I was just saying, oh. No. Okay. Uh, Roll the hit. You managed to hit the manacles. <laughs> Do I roll for damage to see if I break them? No, you, you crack the one manacle. The gnome's right arm is free. And now he is dangling there by one arm. Then I will proceed to crack at the other one. Well, well before, you, before you do that... My character will caution you to not do that because we don't have enough information. And then he'll go to question the humans once more. If Virgil would be so kind to not, you know, swing so hastily this time. And you hear I, that the gnome is now shrieking in pain like his arm is being torn off. I will, because, because of that, I will quickly go grab him. He's wearing a shirt, I'm assuming. No, they're all totally buck naked. Then I will grab him by the loose shoulder and hold him up enough that he's not feeling like his arms ripped off. And the the screaming kind of subsides, but there is crying and whimpering. 
do your questioning. I was getting sick and tired of the screaming while I was trying to calmly find the keys. Glaring at the gnome. Just get me out of here! I want to see my family. But we killed the ogre, so... Answer our questions. You are not in the room. Oh, okay. Out You're just house. outside the room. So, May, what are you doing? I will look to the human and sort of the numb too, because he could answer the question too. And like, you've been here for months, you say? We have. The gnome was just brought in two days ago. Would you mind telling me why an ogre would bother to kidnap and yet feed uh, feed people and not kill you? Or what ogre? What? Why would an ogre gain have hostages? You do know ogres can go months without eating, right? Just get me the fuck out of here and we'll pay you. Not not ogres, you. Why would he feed you? What's the purpose of you being because alive? Because we need less food than the ogre does. Get me out of here. What does that make sense? He says out loud. What the fuck do you mean, how does it make sense? We need less food than the ogre does. But he keeps us months. alive for when he gets hungry. But he, d my my associate over here does make a point. It okay. Made... Well, how about fucking that? And one of the humans points over into the corner, over here, where there's just a pile of bones. Human bones. Are you done with your questioning? I don't like the look of this one bit. I don't trust these people. But I guess we shouldn't just let them. We're just merchants. Get us out of here, please. We will pay you. If you keep asking, I will leave you here or I will slay you myself. Oh, well, then you're a dick. I never said I wasn't. Bacon pushes I'm... through, reaches up to the other shackle, holding the uh, gnome up and attempts to pick the lock. Roll your chance. Percentage, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. You do not manage to pick the lock. Lakaim will clear his throat. Good job, Lakaim. Very proud. W what do you want, drunkard? Uh, they I say they'll pay it. us, and I'm all for getting paid. But if you've been down here for months, how much money do you really have left? I don't know, but we're merchants. I'm sure we could sell something to get you your money. I really hope you can. And Lakaim's going to... We definitely like... can. Lakaim will cast Knock and open all of the handcuffs. Boom. The handcuffs are opened. All of them fall to the ground, and they pretty much start worshipping you by kneeling at your feet and praising you and thanking you and telling you you will not regret it. I put a shoulder, I put a hand on the shoulder of the lead one, whichever one that happens to be, and say, I already do. <laughs> and I will glare at them. And be like, if you betray us, our witch will deal with you. And he'll point to Kasumi and hope to God she makes her evil glare that she always has on her face. She just shakes the knife hand. <laughs> where, where, where do you guys call home? How can we pay you back? Where do you live? Currently, and I look around at the group. Uh, real quick, what was our village called? Hamlet. Hamlet. We're operating out of Hamlet. You will see your payment in no less than a week, I assure you. Merchant sounds to us. Send it to the airlock. <laughs> Can you assure this? Are you staying with us? Or are we supposed to drop you off somewhere and never see you again? What? How, how am I going to pay you back in a week if I never see you again? Just 
We're gonna get out of here. Which way did you come from? From wait, hold on. Um, from my position, I could hear them, right? Yes. You, now that you're in the room, yes, you can hear everything going on. I see that that didn't really matter. <laughs> I'm. Gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna tell them. Uh, hold on. How do you intend to do that? Intend to do what? And not you. I said, hold on. No. No, I uh, Kasumi uh, orders her closet to investigate one of the uh, one of the merchants to find out if they were really lying. Okay, and uh, he. Your closet uses the spell command on the gnome, and you just hear the demonic word of truth. And the gnome tells you the exact same fucking shit that he's already told you twice now. Okay, Kasumi waves off the closet and tells it to go back into invisible mode. And the gnome passes out. I want my money. <clears throat> the fuck this could have my money. Oh no, you watched that shit happen. You, I, you know. Uh, before, like after that, after well, I command I, the closet to. No, nah, after that. I command, uh, after I command the closet to, uh, go invisible, I basically turn into the cleric and tell him, you might want to take care of that. Don't tell me how to do my job. Well, Akaim will just heft the gnome up. Swaying a little bit as his headache is finally breaking. Are you sure it's been less than an hour since you woke up? Don't worry about it. <laughs> he did take he recovers starting. quickly. An ogre attack does get the adrenaline flowing, even though he did nothing. Yeah, it's fine. Or know about the ogre attack. I think he knew about it. Yeah, I was there. It, it was very loud. I went and sat down. You heard the screaming, and you were like, well, fuck this. You never <laughs> well, even looked in the room. Yeah, I, I heard a bunch of uh, not fun, and I said, well, well I fuck did, that. I did, I did say to the group that there was an ogre attacking. Ah. But no, I will, uh, I'll have to the gnome up and uh, offer to take them up top and suggest that uh, we should uh, consider calling this expedition here for the day. One ogre is enough, I think. What about that chest full of coin back there? Just gonna leave that? Come on. Eh. Well, we can bring the chest full of coin. Uh, but right now, and I have to the, the gnome up onto my shoulder. I'm gonna take this pile of meat upstairs. Virgil and I can try and lift the chest. He is our strongman, after all. Yeah, it's so no problem lifting the chest. It weighs roughly 95 pounds, so between the two of you, you shouldn't have any issue. Well, they check check the ogre for anything on him. Guessing that's a no. So I'm gonna and we'll just quickly check over to see if there's anything of worth worth value. You see a loincloth and a type of spear that you are not familiar with. Uh, does anybody want a spear? Do I look like a person that would carry spears? Yes, yes, you do. Kind of. Yeah. Fine. I take the spear from Bacon. You are also unfamiliar with the type of spear that it is. I I question the monk asking why he's trying to leave without grabbing his end of the chest. <laughs> I forgot where it was. And then we'll try and heft it up. 
Yep, you guys have no problem lifting it. And we'll carry it up with us. I guess we're going back up to the main floor. Uh, you guys do remember that you did see another door down here. We're looking at their timetable. What was that? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't think we're gonna risk another door at this point in time. We're, we're looking at our timetable for the night. I don't care if we run over, it's up to everyone else. I don't care I'm, either. I'm down to a lightning bolt and one more knock. Like, I should head up actively this hold and make camp for the night. It's like nine in the morning. Well, I don't know. Oh, so, so we're right. just gonna rest. To for, to. We're gonna have breakfast and yeah, relax. Apparently, we'll okay. have a morning siesta. How about that? There we go. We'll, we'll break for lunch. You know, it's nine in the morning. Claire needs to study for some. He needs to study and do some healing. Yeah, and I need however long. Everyone's it'll still take me. very injured. Last I last he checked. I'm doing okay. I'm all right. The Kaim's killing himself. My ogre's dead. Kaim's <laughs> oh. I finally I, I got to use my burning hands. I, I'm sorry I two shot your mob. I'm just I'm just thinking about how we uh, are. It looks like we're calling it here for the night. We killed one thing. I know. I was expecting more, but we had too much RP. Well, we, we killed it. We killed it so well. Yeah. What? See, yeah. The the fight was literally three minutes. <laughs> how how much uh, damage did it do to the ogre with burning hands? What'd you say? Five. How right? much your level? Hey, you five? did five damage. It does okay. one per level. How much was his uh HP? Twenty one. Oh. Twenty one. Did did that affect the second attack for me or no? The second attack is what killed it. You did 11 I'm... damage and it had 11 left. You know what I'm referring to. No, I... What? I am curious how you did 11 damage. Carefully. 11 damage? I had used a short sword that does 1d8 plus uh, 3 damage. Yeah, he rolled maximum damage. Dude, in my D&D campaign right now that I'm playing with my other guys, I have a sword that can deal 36 damage. Oh, yeah. that's a lot. That is a I lot. mean, we are we are kind of slow at the moment with our pacing, so. Yeah, it, it's a uh, Dragon Slayer longsword. Your back, no, your, your backstab did not come into play. Oh, because no. Because it was already fucking dead without that shit. <laughs> I hit with the first attack, but. First uh, and second, but. It wouldn't have killed it. Okay. Alright. Up we go. Okay, I guess up we go. Heave ho. We heft this gnome out of the dungeon and unceremoniously dump him. Oh dear, outside. the map is so big. Uh, forget the map, the tokens are so big. <laughs> I've zoomed in the left hand corner. Anymore. I'm heading back. Yeah. Are we going back oh, the way of the drawbridge going. or across the river? I think drawbridge. As long as we are gentle with the drawbridge, it should be fine. Yeah, no fourth female pounding. <clears throat> so May and I will go last. Considering we're carrying the treasure chest. That's actually a good point. Yeah, so only we fall, and nobody else gets, and nobody else has to walk through water, poor thing. So yeah, so everyone in the party gets across. The two naked humans get across. I guess Bacon and I are sitting there ready to go across, and we attempt. And as you guys go across, you can feel that the drawbridge is in fact buckling, but it does not end up giving. So we get across and make our way over. Set that chest down promptly. And sit down and relax. For 
Well, as if relaxed as a paranoid person can get. Yeah. If I casted further mendings on that bridge, would it get better? You don't know that thing as you haven't done it yet. Ah. We're playing that game. Yes. We are playing that game as in you are new characters and you, I am assuming, have never cast each spell that you have. <laughs> well, anything else, this is the first time someone's cast Mending. Well, it's the first time you have cast it. Yes. So to your knowledge, you have no idea. What shall we do about our new companions? I doubt they want to stay with us through the night or... And would have been much choose to work on tomorrow. They're probably... straight up trying to book it away from this place as fast as possible. And they probably should probably could use some clothes as well if we have anything to spare. Uh, there were some clothes in the room with the ogre. Those, those uh, I'd like to go back in and inspect those bodies in six and seven. On the top floor. Yes, and see if uh, those guys would have clothing their size. Nope. No? Nope. They have no clothes? They don't have naked. clothes. They They're butt ass size. naked. Yeah. Oh, yes. He's one male, one female, and one gnome. I'm going to say okay. he's a dude. All butt ass naked. I'm going to proceed back down. And see if I can That's find gonna be one thing. Yes, they. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna proceed down and see if I can find some clothing in the areas which we were in. Yeah, you can find specifically their clothing. I gathered them up and I bring them back up, hopefully without incident. Yep. The only thing is they smell like ogre sweat because the ogre was using them as a pile to make his own bed. So as I come back up and cross the bridge again with the clothes, I'm sitting there gagging from the horrendous ogre smell. And conveniently enough, you don't fall into the river. You almost did. But Probably you... should have. Would help the smell. I proceed to hand it to the humans and the gnome for them to be able to have clothing. It's like conscious, right? The gnome is coming too, but yes. Yeah, not handing so much as I'm just kind of tossing it to them. Yes, he's doing one of those. Does this rag smell like chloroform to you? Moves. No, I'm to just tossing them on their heads. Get dressed. You'll probably need them if you're going to get back to civilization. Better be the laughing stock of the town. I mean, your choice. And you do see that they are running back in the direction opposite of Hamlet. I smack our archer and it's like, might want to fire a warning shot. Lakai will put a hand on his shoulder. There's no need. And why is sure. that? It'd be a waste of an arrow. And I've got something to follow them. And I will, you know, just sort of look off into the empty field and uh, have my giant rat materialize out of its invisibility and just skulk off in that direction. Okay, and it's at this point that you do remember that there is a town to the northeast. Actually, a major city. About four days travel. They did, see and that's the way they're heading. It'll go keep an eye on them. Okay. Maybe make sure they don't forget that they owe me. Oh us! I'm the one that got them out. You I guys wanted freed to them. question them to death. I wasn't going to question them to death. I was going to free them, but <laughs> somebody wanted to keep questioning. You forgot there was an ogre guard in them, correct? Who slayed that? Or at least who helped slay that? Not I... I. This is still like I am. Mm. 
He does have a point. Why would you just sit out of the fight? Oh, do you want my answer? I swear to God, if you say it's because you're hungover, I will personally punch you in the jaw. I will assist. <laughs> you're gonna grab his arm and thrust it forward into his jaw. <laughs> <laughs> Lakaim will rub his shoulders, roll his neck, and say, I have approximately three spells left memorized for the day. One, another one for opening doors. The other, a force to pick up small objects with. And the third, and I turn towards the forest and cast Lightning Bolt. Oh, God. Okay. Mark off your spell. And I blow away several trees, I imagine. Uh, at your level, you're not powerful enough to blow them away. You do, however, light them on fire. <clears throat> and then, you know, I, I shake the power out of my hands, wooze a little bit, and reach for, like, a flask of water and say, and that is why I did not decide to help. <laughs> because all I had was the I win button. You have no weapon that you could use in a fight whatsoever? You just saw it. <laughs> what was I gonna do? Stab it to death with a dagger, and I pull out, like, a regular ass dagger. I'm a spellcaster. I cast spells. Ah, uh, it's done with, I suppose. Yeah, what can we do? At this point, since you casters seem to need your spells back, I'm gonna take a quick nap. <laughs> since you need to do shit. I'm gonna fall asleep so you can't do shit and need to watch over us. <laughs> no, I'm taking a nap so I take final watch. Yeah, how much of the day do I need to devote to getting my spells back? Uh, it's two hours per spell level. So currently six hours. It's to get that third level spell. My imp is gonna be gone, so I'll technically be down to down a level and won't have access to third levels so you only need four hours yeah okay it works and that's for uninterrupted hours i mean i i go and i prop up you know my books and i put my third book back in the case i open them up you know i fluff my bedroll I sit in the things. lotus position, and uh, I say, nobody bother me. Say, at that point, I'm just going to perch myself up against the chest and doze on off for a little bit. Okay, dope. Um, are we going to call it here? I believe so. Yeah, that's fine. I got work. Okay. Um... Bacon brought up a good point of doing another session this week. Nobody fucking said anything. So. Uh, uh, what's the plan there, Chief? 